Uh, honestly, not surprised. I mean, I told my wife last night that uh, I had a feeling we were going to lose this game. Um, you know, I, I don't. Uh, I don't think we have a very good approach. Um, I think that uh, even though we've tried to show, uh, you know, our players our weaknesses and uh, tried to improve upon those, I don't think it's been to the point where. Um, They've really taken it seriously. I think you look at, we had those two exhibition games. Um, I think they put a lot of stock in those that I didn't put a lot of stock in. Um, and then obviously had a greedy win at, at Northern Kentucky. Um, but when it came down to today, I mean, we've talked about missed layups. We've talked about turnovers. Uh, and as long as you're doing those two things, you're, you're gonna be in trouble. Like you're gonna be in for a dogfight every night. And we turned the ball over. 25 times to their 14. We weren't able to force them into turnovers like we, we had some other teams. Uh, and we turned Missouri over more times than we turned um, Illinois Springfield over. So, I mean, it's, it, it's uh, I'm not even going to say it's disappointing. I mean, because I kind of expected that this was going to happen with the way we've practiced the last two days and our approach and our um, program-wide lack of discipline. Um, constantly, we're dealing with somebody being late. Um, for something, somebody um, turning assignments in late, um, not turning assignments in, and that's that's our DNA right now. Um, and you you know you talk to the kids, you try to fix those things, um, but we're very immature, and so we need to we need to grow from this. Um, and and um, you know sometimes you need a you need a hard lesson. No, we've been battling this since they got here. Okay. Is people knowing what time to like, people being on time, um, people taking care of the responsibilities off the floor. I mean, I've talked to them about. It. I mean, on the board, I wrote discipline twice, and then we go out on the court, and things we're supposed to switch, we don't switch. We're supposed to trap, we don't trap. Um, so that comes down to coachability, and I and I and I'm not saying like. Being coachable isn't always like, oh, she has a bad attitude. She's not coachable. Being coachable is when you implement a game plan, being able to execute. And so we struggle with that some today in in a few areas. Um, you know, obviously they're they're smaller. They're they're tough to guard. They put us in some some tough matchups. But um, you know, when we when we when we tell somebody that the kid's a shooter, you can't just let them catch it and and fire it. And number eleven was a shooter. She goes four for eight. Um, number three, we said, was a shooter. She goes three for six. We go one for eight as a team. Um, so, I mean, you give up. We average giving up 30 points a game on three-pointers right now. They, we average giving up 10 threes a game. It's not, it wasn't like, oh, Missouri just shot the ball well. Those were wide open looks. So, our, we're not committed um, to the defensive end uh, the way we have been. That's what kept us in games our first two years was we, we, we knew we were going to get that defensive performance for the most part. Um, so the games are in the 60s. Now I don't think we can count on that. So now you've, I mean, we've given up um, 80, 98, and 71 in three games. And that's no team I've ever coached has given up this many points in their first three games. And we've played three different levels of competition. We've played a mid-major, a high major, and a Division II school. You look at a game like this, I, I hear harping a lot about the exhibitions, the first two matchups. Does it, you know, I guess the best positives you guys still have a lot of time left a lot of games maybe you don't yeah there's a lot of basketball left. left but i mean yeah. you every every day um is a day to get better and to work on that and 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 we've talked about that growth process i mean we've got eight you know freshmen and sophomores so there's it's a long process it's a long season but we have made um in in a lot of ways we have made haven't made progress um when it comes to accountability responsibility and so that's the like that's the results you're going to get. Games that you should win, you're going to lose. Games that um, you should maybe win by double digits, you're going to be in a dogfight in. And that's, I mean, that's where we're at. Any, any and I can't sugarcoat it. You right. know what I mean? I'm not going to. I'm going to tell them, oh, the other team played well and we just played bad. I mean, we had 25 turnovers. I mean, we probably missed with five minutes left in the in the first, or excuse me, five minutes left in the second quarter. We could have already scored 50 points. Because we had 20, oh, I forget what we had, 26, uh, I think it was, or something like that. And we had missed nine, nine layups and five free throws. And when you added it all up, 
I think, you know, we'd have had like 47, 48 points with five minutes to go in the first half. Um, but you got to convert those. I mean, we still shot. You I mean, people would be like, well, you shot 47% from the field. We could have shot 55 or 60. Um, I mean, those balls at the rim that we don't finish. Um, how many times did they just take a ball away from us? We get a rebound, they just jerk it away from us. I mean, that's that stuff. That's toughness stuff. Are there any particular girls that are vocal and you'll be able to kind of guide you? Our leadership is, is um, since we've been here, it's it's been hard to have player-led teams. And I think that's the difference between um, like our growth. Um, we're working with kids on trying to help them be leaders. Um, you know, we've done some stuff. Um, we've, we've sent people to uh, some some retreats for leadership. And I think they um, they try, um, but we got to have people, you know, step up and want to be led as well.